story to tell you. Yes, it is a great story. You love it. You will yes. laugh your butt off. Be prepared. <laughs> what occurred at the scene before Starbucks today? Well, I was sitting in the bedroom and Michaela and Kaylee called me and invited me to go to Starbucks and of course I wanted to go because I mean I, I'm a white girl. Why well, wouldn't I want to go to Starbucks? It's my life. Oh my gosh, everything just went downhill when we got there. Michaela, what happened before the scene at Starbucks today? Um, well, today, before Starbucks, I remember that I called Allison and Kaylee in a three-way conversation about going to Starbucks. Kaylee, what happened before the scene at Starbucks today? Okay, so basically, like, Michaela called me and Allison on a three-way call and asked us all we could go to Starbucks today so we could, like, you know, converse and have coffee and be common white girls and, like, a common black girl, too. And then we could all three be together and we'd just all, you know, be there drinking coffee. Tell us what happened once you got to Starbucks. I saw Kaylee and Michaela sitting outside at the tables with their laptops and stuff. They helped me with my bags. We went inside and we got a table. We set up our stuff and we all got coffee. Michaela, tell us what happened once you got to Starbucks. I will never know where that voice comes from. Once we got to Starbucks, we all met each other. It was all chill and stuff. And then, of course, my lucky day, I got a free coffee. It was awesome. But somehow the coffee tasted very weird. But it was really good. Just a little tang to it. Really, tell us what happened once you got to Starbucks. Okay, so basically, Allison showed up, and me and Michaela were already on our laptops working on some stuff. And so we went inside, and I got my double chocolate frappuccino. And then we went and sat down, and some girl gave us a free cappuccino. So Michaela got it and started drinking it, and then after that, everything just went weird. What happened to Michaela after she drank the coffee? Oh my gosh, I feel so bad for Michaela right now. She was sitting there, okay? And she started making all these weird facial expressions and making all these weird noises. And she started foaming at the mouth and it scared me so bad. And she reached up to pat her weave and the next thing I know it, a big chunk of it comes out. So Michaela, what happened to you after you drank the coffee? Well, some weird things happened. I started making these weird faces. I felt really weird on the inside, but I was so chill about the situation, you know? Then all of a sudden, I saw a piece of good looking fried chicken across the room, and I was salivating. I caught myself doing that, and then all of a sudden, Allison and Kaylee were just freaking out for some apparent reason. So all of a sudden, I felt really itchy on my scalp, and I started patting my weave. Three times, all of a sudden I reach down and a chunk of weave comes out my hair. Kaylee, what happened to your friend Michaela after she drank the coffee? We don't really know what happened to her, but after that all I can say is everything went haywire. And then her weave fell out. She gave part of the weave to me that fell out and there was a honeycomb in it. And, like, the honeycomb was just in her weave. It was like a ball of weave, and the honeycomb was just in the middle of the ball of weave. And then a bee flew out of it. What happened after the weave fell out? Well, after the weave fell out, things got really, really 
really scary. And Kaylee just throws the piece of weed and I pick it up thinking maybe Michaela can stick this back in her head and all this will be over. No, that is not what happened. The weed started barking at me. This piece of weed had to be possessed or something. Michaela, what happened after your weave fell out? Well, things got very, very creepy and weird after that. But I was chill as always. When the chunk of weave fell out my head, all of a sudden, a bee flew out and Kaylee was freaking out. And I laid him on the table and all of a sudden they start barking like huh, huh, huh. Turns out that I just threw it away in the trash can at Starbucks. Well, at least I thought I threw it out. So what happened after the bee flew out of the weave? Allison got really freaked out, which I mean I would be too if a weave was barking at me. Like weaves don't bark. And so then everything kind of settled down and Michaela threw the weave in the trash. But then the whole Starbucks blacked out. So that's when we drove here to tell you guys what had happened. So that's all that happened? Yeah, that's all that happened. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's all that happened. Yeah, that's all that happened. I'm just done talking about it. Oh my gosh. What? Oh my gosh. I'm back.